Ooh-wee. What's up, everyone? It's your boy, Chris Nall. Let's drop a little knowledge today. Uh, walking home from work right now. Had a little, uh, little life happen to me and uh, had my transmission uh, actually crap out of me last week. So, uh, again, embracing the suck. Just figuring out a way, solving one problem at a time. Uh, just giving a uh, thought and whatnot on this walk home. Um, man, I just freaking enjoy all the little things in life. And uh, sitting here in Arizona, walking right next to Camelback Mountain. There's palm trees growing, the red rock. I mean, look at this. It's like 103 degrees at like 10 in the morning here. But you know what? I love it. I love this shit, man. Like, I remember when I was taking stuff, like, I just never, like, felt the wind on my face or, uh, you know, had those little victories or little things in the day that would just feel so much, so much better and kind of just kind of get you throughout your day. I don't know. It's hard to explain, but, like, just those little things that you really appreciate when you're not taking anything that you um, don't really, uh, you know, it's like when you're taking painkillers, you kind of think that you're... Uh, like experiencing life on like 110% when in reality you're kind of just like numbing those feelings to where you're just not feeling any of the bad you're only feeling like 60% of the good so it seems like you know again everything's 110% and maybe in the first few weeks it is but once it becomes part of who you are and what you do every day then you start needing it to function that's when it gets to the point where you know I stopped I stopped appreciating music I stopped appreciating just life and health and fitness and feeling good about yourself, feeling uh, you know confident again. Um, you know, again, like I said in my last video, having some money to actually um, you know spend on yourself and treat yourself every once in a while is not a bad thing. But I mean, gosh, this is so crazy how beautiful this is. I mean, look at that. Look at that. Doesn't get any better than that, guys. Oh, woo. Anyway, sorry, walking up this this hill here. Um, but yeah, I've heard a lot of great stories from a lot of you over the past few weeks and just want to let you guys know <laughs> that's so important to me to help me stay accountable and to keep going and battle on my journey. You know, the path to recovery is an ever ongoing battle. So, um, you know, it's just one day at a time, guys. You're going to have good days. You're going to have bad days right now. I don't have a car. It's Arizona in the summer. And again, it's 100 degrees at 10 a.m. here. It's going to be 108 today. But honestly, guys, I don't care. This is so much better than my life before. I'd take right now sweating my ass off, walking home with no car for the moment, of course, until I get mine back. But I mean, I'll take this or feeling like shit and not appreciating life except for getting high any day of the week. I mean... So it's moments like this that I take a little mental snapshot and remember this feeling right here because if I ever go back to using, I will never experience this right here ever again. And anyways, <laughs> so yeah, like I said, my transmission's out of my car. Uh, just saving up a little bit of cash here so I can pick it up this week. Repairs are already done. Cool, uh, cool $2,500, but uh, <laughs> Anyways, yeah, how would I have afforded that if I had been taking, uh, taking painkillers now? So I can, <laughs> anyways, it's luckily I made the decision to stop when I did because it's funny how life turns out, you know? It's like the moment you kind of start making more, you'll have more issues happen, but I feel like it's more like I was blessed with no issues to happen, uh, you know, financially like this, or at least to this extent when I was taking. So then the fact that it happens now, I'm not even mad about it. It's just, it's kind of like the consequences of my actions over the previous couple years. And now I'm kind of paying the price, which I'm totally, totally uh, cool with and take full responsibility for. But yeah, guys, stay positive. Life goes on. Take it one day at a time. Uh, if you're having a bad, like craving feeling, put on some music, man, go for a drive. Like think about all the good, like, all the good times you had when you weren't high and just i mean those things it seemed like it's going to last for an hour or all afternoon but most of the time it only lasts like 20 30 minutes so get out there stay positive guys enjoy the little things in life enjoy walking home in 100 degree heat next to beautiful camelback mountain 
in the Arizona desert. Till next time, guys. I'll see you. Take it easy.